Sonic vs. Tracer One is an anthropomorphic hedgehog who runs real fast and makes Sega some major bucks. So much so that they've stopped giving a crap about making him quality games. The other one is one of the most popular flagship characters for Blizzard's widely successful Overwatch, a team-based multiplayer first-person shooter that captivated over 4 million players as of May 2018. And it keeps growing. But the question is, who would win in a fight? Let us know your pick in those comments below with hashtag Tracer or hashtag Sonic. Hey everybody, welcome to Versus, a series we do here on Top 10 Gaming, where we pin your favorite video game characters up against each other and debate on who would win. Today we're looking at Sonic the Hedgehog and Tracer from Overwatch. Let's start off by looking at these two characters' origins, beginning with Sonic. Sonic first came to be in 1991. At the time, Sega wanted to compete with another major gaming giant, Nintendo, who had all but re-energized the video game industry and brought it back to life after the famous video game crash of 1983. Nintendo had Mario, who was essentially the company's mascot, and was growing increasingly popular, especially in the mainstream video game market. So Sega decided they needed their own mascot in order to give Nintendo a run for their money. They held an internal competition at the Sega Technical Institute to create that new mascot. And through that, two new characters were crafted. One, Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik, and two, Sonic the Hedgehog. It was decided that Robotnik would be the villain in Sonic's first game, titled Sonic the Hedgehog, which was released for the Sega Genesis. That game would prove to be a success and give way to two other follow-up hits, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic 3, along with its add-on, and Knuckles. From there, Sonic's history gets a little bit murky. He's a character who's definitely had his ups and downs. Despite always being adored by his fan base, Sonic hasn't gotten the best of treatment from his makers over the years when it comes to 3D games. With Rumors swelling about the Sonic team at times despising having to work on another Sonic title, many of which are infamous for being half-assed and underdeveloped, from game mechanics to graphics to story. Regardless of that, Sonic as a character continues to prevail. Moving on to Tracer. Prior to the game's start, Overwatch was looking for a hotshot pilot to test their next generation teleporting fighter called the Slipstream. Lena Oxton, aka Tracer, was that fearless pilot, and the youngest person ever inducted into the program. But on her first flight, the teleportation matrix malfunctioned and she disappeared. She was believed to be dead, but but months later reappeared, with her molecules having been desynchronized from the flow of time. She was suffering from chronal disassociation, and was essentially a living ghost, disappearing for hours and even days at a time, unable to maintain a physical form. Eventually, Winston was able to help her and created the Chronal Accelerator, which kept her anchored in the present, and gave her the ability to control her own time, speeding it up and down at will. It was later revealed that the character was an outmember of the LGBTQ community in one of Blizzard's Overwatch comics, in which we meet her girlfriend Emily. Blizzard has committed to diversity in Overwatch, so that they increasingly impress with, having maintained that commitment and in doing so, having crafted a wide scope of awesome characters that people all across the globe can relate to. Moving on to abilities, let's look at Tracers first. A damage hero in Overwatch, she's most well known for being quite the rapid fire character, with her twin pulse pistols and her banter. She's got a blink ability that allows her to blink through space and rewind her personal timeline as she fights. Her recall ability lets her rewind three seconds in the past, setting her health and position to whatever they were at the time, which will also reload her guns and removes all debuffs. Her ultimate move is the Pulse Bomb, which is a bomb that when tossed, sticks to whatever it lands on, whether that's an enemy or a regular surface. When it explodes, it deals a solid chunk of damage to those in its vicinity. Moving on to Sonic. Sonic is generally seen as the fastest speedster around if you're not counting any of DC's Flash characters, that is. In the scope of his games, he's always managed to outspeed any challenge he's ever faced, although a few characters at times have come close to matching his speeds. His speeds can reach up to Mach 1, around 768 miles per hour, and he's been called the fastest thing alive multiple times. He's taken on the likes of giant robots, godlike deities, and he has an arsenal of attacks that he busts out that all riff on his speeding abilities. His spin dash, spin jump, homing attacks, you know, all that stuff. Plus, if he collects all seven Chaos Emeralds, he can transform into a supersonic state, which is incredible powerful and fast. On to the fight. While we could speculate away at who would win in a fight between these two, luckily for us, thanks to the internet and the wonders that are memes, a dude named Dane already broke it down for us when replying to a magazine's hypothetical debate over who would be victorious in a Sonic Tracer showdown. Let's give it a read. Also, not sure if it's meters or miles that he's referring to, so fuck it, just gonna say miles. Your panel of experts concluded that Tracer would beat Sonic in a foot race. I'm not sure how this could be possible as Tracer's base speed is six miles per second. Her blink, which teleports her an additional seven miles has a three second cooldown, meaning she would run the 100 mile dash in about nine seconds. On the other hand, Sonic's slowest speed according to Canon is 343 miles a second, meaning he would run the 100 mile in a fraction of a second. In order for Tracer to win, she would have to consistently use Blink with no cooldown, but even then may not be able to beat faster versions of Sonic, as Sonic Adventure 
XD lists a speed in excess of 1,118 miles per second. First off, it's Sonic Adventure DX, just saying. Second, this is what the magazine said to Dane in response. Actually, we predicted Tracer as the victor because she would shoot Sonic with her dual pulse pistols at the start of the race. Even the speediest hedgehog can't win when he's dead, Dane. I don't know about y'all, but I kinda just feel like that just did my job for me for this versus, didn't it? What else is there to say? But if we really wanna stir the shit pot, you could argue that Tracer would have to be fast enough to shoot Sonic, whose reaction time may be quicker than Tracer's when she's whipping out her pistols. And let's be honest, speed is everything in this battle. It's all Sonic really has. But if Tracer just shot him in the back and murdered him straight up Mephilus styles, Sonic would just lose the race before it even begun. Plus, if Sonic speeds away on her just as she's pulling out her pistols, she could blink, rewind her time so that she pulls out her pistols sooner, and then just shoot him and kill him. And of course, in a situation like that, Sonic would have to have no rings on him, otherwise he would come back to life. But if you want to take that even further, you could touch on the fan theory of how everything in Sonic's world is in relation to him actually being a real-life hedgehog. The reason why Robotnik at times is as fast as Sonic on foot, despite being an overweight man, is because we see things from Sonic's perspective. AKA, he's seemingly fast, but he's no faster than a real life hedgehog, and that's why Robotnik can keep up with him. I mean, doesn't really explain a lot of other things in the canon when it comes to speed, though unless you're looking at everything with a suspension of disbelief, but whatever. But if, you know, playing devil's advocate, we're running with that, no pun intended, then we've got to consider that Tracer, being human and clearly more proficient at physical activity than Robotnik, could easily fuck Sonic up. And the winner? Well, well, if we're getting all Dane technical on you, it's Sonic. But if we're using our imaginations and wishful thinking, it's Tracer. Really, it's whoever you want it to be. These are fictional characters, and one's a hedgehog, whose fandom has turned him into this, and this, and this. So yeah. So there we have it. Do you guys agree with our outcome? Or do you have wacky ideas of your own as to how to determine whether Sonic or Tracer would win this hypothetical battle? Give us a shout in those comments below. If you dug this video, hit that like button. And if you want more verses or other lists and news about video games in general, not just Sonic, be sure to head on over to our channel, Top 10 Gaming, and subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you on the next video.